Alright guys, your almighty dark lord and master Mr. Popo is back and you have read the title correctly. This is going to be a story about black friends, your black friends, against your white friends when you're black. So, if you're white and you're watching this, well, it, it's nothing like, nothing racist or anything like that. But stereotypical. Very stereotypical. But, um, so I do have a story about this, guys. So, I want to go, first I want to say, this happened probably on my birthday when I was turning 12. So, that was about two years ago. And my birthday just passed and one of my right, white friends came up to me. The one person that's in the story, I want to just call him John. That's a classic white name. So, I want to call him John. Alright? So, John comes over to my house. And, you know, we just talking and whatever, playing games and whatever. And this is like a couple days after my birthday. And he's, he, then he says, hey, remember when I got you a, that Xbox remote for your birthday? And that just that made me remember all of this. So when I, when I was turning 12, let's say John got me an Xbox remote, cost about $50 and an entire cake for my birthday. So I was like, hey, you know, this is really cool. I didn't even expect that. Like, I didn't really expect anything from him because most of my friends don't get me anything for my birthday. So, you know, he, I said, oh, thank, thanks, man. You know, whatever. Just do all that other cheesy shit. Then, um, you know, we just start playing games or whatever. Then I go to school, like, because he came, he gave me this stuff, like, probably two days before my birthday. I think it was, like, on a Thursday. I think... It was on a Thursday, and then I go to school the next day, and I asked one of my black friends, and I want his name is going to be a classic black name, Tyrone. Let's say Tyrone. I go up to Tyrone and say, hey, you know, hey, what's up, man, what's up? And we just talk on it, whatever, and then I said, hey, you know, John just got me this Xbox remote and an entire cake. For my birthday, what you get me, you know, as a joke and stuff. And I quote you on this. I remember exactly what he said. He said, nigga, I ain't got the money to get you anything for your birthday. And I, you ain't got me anything, so I'm not going to get you anything. Then he goes on to say, as a matter of fact, don't you owe me some money? And that's when you know that you have a good black friend. When he brings up something from over three years ago. No, probably, I think it was two years ago. Because I owed him money for like three years at this point. So about, I owed him like five dollars for three years. I've been had the money. Matter of fact, I have the money right now. Hopefully he doesn't watch this video. Uh, I hope he doesn't watch this video. Because I do have five dollars on him. He lives close to me too. So like, it's like a... Three minute walk to his house from my house. Man, I hope he don't watch this video because he didn't want to come over here trying to get the money. So I owed this nigga money for like three years. Then I go ask him for a birthday gift. He, he first he says he ain't got the money for that. That's first a classic black line. You know you're black when you say you don't have the money. But then my white friend has to. Go get me an entire cake and an Xbox remote. An expensive one at that. So, you know, it, it, like, it wasn't used. It was new, fresh out of wherever the Xbox remote to come from. You see, and that's the main differences between your black friends and your white friends when you're black. See, white friends, they, they get you shit, man. Like, you, if you want something, if you want some money or something, they got you. Like... For the most part, if you're cool with them, they got you. I mean, cause also, here's a little side story. Let's say another different type of white one of my white friends. Let's call him Trevor. That seems like a good white name. All right, so let's say, all right, so this guy been, like, probably for the past two years, been paying for my lunch at least, at least a total of six months out of these two years. Prob that's probably a total. You see, and that's, he's a good person. Now, let's say I go to 
my one another one of my black friends. It's a different person. Let's call him uh, Tyrell. That's not really eh, like I guess it's a good black name or whatever. So let's say I go to Tyrell, and I ask him for a dollar. I, wait, no, it wasn't even a dollar. It it was legit. It was probably legit twenty five cents. I remember it. it was like fifty cents to twenty five cents. One of those. Because I needed some extra money for my lunch so I could pay for that day. Because um, my parents were paying for my sister's college and they didn't really have the money and stuff. And I didn't want to take my own lunch because I have like shit here. Like there was nothing here for me to get. Nothing on the lookout. But so I asked him for probably 50 cents. He pulled out. <laughs> he pulls out like $5 bills. And then. He does have change on him. Like, he, he's the type of person that always have change on him. I ask him for about 50 cents to pay for my lunch. And then he asked to show me the money. that I, All the money I already have. I show it to him. This nigga. And this is my friend, by the way. He goes, snatches it from me, pays for his lunch. And walks away. I... I then have to go in, get a free lunch, and the free lunches at my school are like trash. They are legit trash. It's two pieces of bread and like a piece of cheese in the middle. That is that is legit it. And you know, um, let's see, what, people that watch the video that I know that go to my school, you know, they they know they know how it is. Like it is legit. And the two pieces of bread are cold at that. They are cold, and my black friend goes snatch some money from me and pays for his lunch. See, and the thing is, he's my friend. I'm about to fight him, but I didn't get my money back one way or the. I did get my money back, but still, like he snatched the money out my hand, goes and pays for his own lunch with it, and I'm stuck with a cold piece of bread and some cheese, and then my white friend pays for like six months of my um lunch. You see. That, uh, you know, this, this is going to be titled called White Friends versus Black Friends. That's, that's going to be the title. Probably, yep, that's going to be the title. All right, guys, remember to like, comment, and or subscribe to your all money Dark Lord and Master. If you would like to see more fucked up stories like this, press that subscribe button and press that bell so you'll get all the notifications from your boy, Black Santa Claus. It's been real, and it's been fun. But it hasn't been real fun, you know, still stuck on the lookout with Dende. Bye.